What's up guys, this is Jason Kirchy, AKA Mr. Swell Runner here at SEMA 2019 down in Las Vegas. And I've got Rodney, how do you pronounce your last name? Strauber? Stauber. Yep, Stauber. Stauber, you got it. And uh, I, you know this, I, well I have a sprinter and you know that, but I have a particular interest in Overland inspired sprinters. And his sprinter kept, caught my eye and you'll see why in a minute, but it's a uh, sprinter based on the 144 chassis, yep. four wheel drive. Yep. I think it's the Winnebago Revel or whatever, it but is, it's yep. done so much more. Yep. Where do you see it? So tell me, okay, so how did this start? So we needed a vehicle to support, uh, at Cooper Tires is who we work for, for our nine to five jobs. Avon Tires is owned by Cooper. They needed a rig for us to go to motorcycle races with, and so we chose the Renovago Revel. So as you see the rig, uh, it's gonna look familiar to you. If you're familiar with the Revel, there's gonna be a lot of things that don't look familiar because these are all the things you can do to a Revel to really soup it up. So. Um, partnered with Agile Off-Road down in California. They did us a winch on the front. They did the lift package on it. So uh, it's added four or five inches of lift. Uh, put some skid plates underneath so we've got some you know, damage protection if you get into the deep stuff or you slip off of a rut. Um, they, they added lights. We have rigid lights in here for our winch lights uh, for the front end. Uh, I was actually in Idaho trying to get to Nevada in dirt and ended up getting this thing sunk up to the axles, ran the winch line all the way out to a tree, and pulled myself out, lowered the air pressure, and got back out of there. So it's all real, it all works. Um, the rack on top is put together by a company out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, that's Rome built. <clears throat> the rack that comes on the Revel is completely adequate, has solar panels on top, uh, but it doesn't have a lot of storage space. So if you wanna put your recovery gear up on the roof or a bunch of firewood up on the roof, you really need to upgrade the roof rack. And so we went with Rome built, uh, gave us more lights up front, gave us side lights off the front and the back. Solar panels are still up there, but now we have that expanded metal flooring that we can throw recovery gear on, we can put wood on there, whatever. How much solar do you have up there? Uh, 100 watts, two 100 watt panels. 200 uh, watt panels, yeah, okay. yeah. 200 watt total. 200 watt total, uh, and that's Zamp Solar out of uh, Bend, Oregon, is the one who Winnebago partnered with. They came through and looked at the setup. I mean, it's a pretty popular brand. Um, we, of course, did some graphics on it for SEMA. Uh, cassette toilet, standard city fill, that's all just on the Winnebago side. That came with the rig. Lighting came with the rig. Um, went with an Illuminous rear bumper. Went with this Pro Eagle uh, jack. We wanted a place to put this jack, and so we winded, wound up raising the spare tire up about four inches, and that put us a gave us a spot to put a plate down and then put that uh, jack right there. I've ended up using the jack a few times. We actually used it here because one of the Overland trucks had a flat tire when we came in one morning, jacked it up, took the tire off. We have onboard air. We aired it back up, put it back on for him. So we're, we're overlanding right here at SEMA. There you go. Yeah. Uh, oh, great. This, this rig from Winnebago comes with this uh, um, lift system for the uh, bed, basically. It goes all the way up to the top. You can put your bikes in here, snowboard, skis, whatever. Uh, if you wanted to put a small motorcycle in, you can sneak that in here. Get to where you're going, unload your equipment, put it outside, lower the bed back down off the ceiling, and then you've got your sleeping space for the night. Again, on the Revel side, they come with hot and cold running water in the back, so it's got a um, shower in it as well. But if you're someplace private and just want to rinse off or rinse off your equipment, you can do it all off the back of the rig. Power outlets back here, 12 volt power outlets back here, and that's all. That's all Rebel. That's all Winnebago. Um, big storage box. Nothing in it right now, but you know, shelf in the middle. Tons of storage. Tons of storage. These boxes are huge. Yeah. Those are this, luminous boxes, correct? Uh, the luminous box, and this actually fits a uh, two gallon roto pack on the side, wow. so you can put, you know, keep your keep your uh, fuel, tools, whatever, safe. It's got locks on it. Yep. Onboard air again. Um, comes with a solar ad addition, so if you get a ZAMP solar panel that you want to lay out like one of their 140 watt panels, just plug it right in and that just rolls right into the same juice. The one thing we did have to do because of the lift is we had to modify the foot on the table. Yeah. And so that's a good way to see how much lift I got because we need to do that so we could play our cribbage games on a level, level playing surface. What is the lift? Did you tell us about that yet? I think it's, for, I, Agile Off-Road did the lift and I think it's about four or five inches. I mean, wow. it basically the stock Revel, that end of that foot on that table sits on the ground. And when we did the lift and got everything done, the table was at an angle, so we had to modify it so we could get it back up. So I think it's about a four or five inch lift. What size tires are you running? Uh, these are a 275 Cooper. Uh, these are the ST Max tires, kind of their aggressive tire 275. And then I actually run, uh, we've got about 12,000 miles on their AT product. 
their AT product is awesome for this truck. Um, the Cooper tire, it's quiet, good, good going down the road on asphalt, 70, 75, it's nice. And then we've done some deep gravel, a little bit of snow, and they hang on. It's, it's a great tire. Cooper does a good product all the way around for the Overland stuff. They've got great truck tires, light truck tires. Can we see the inside? Inside, yeah, come on up. <clears throat> you can fit up in here. That's the bed back there, so that's, that's how the lift works. Goes right on up. They, um, they opted for a um, uh, toilet shower kind of combo storage cabinet. Oh, awesome. That's one of the tricky decisions to make when you're doing a build out is what do you do for a toilet and a shower. Um, so they put bamboo shelves in there, uh, shower in there, and then a cassette toilet. And it's a different system, so the cassette toilets are nice. I know it's not a great topic, but um, the cassette toilets allow poo. you. Yep, <laughs> allow you to take the tank out. You can dump it in a pit toilet if you're in a campground. You can dump it in a hotel room if you're in a hotel rest area, uh, and then the gray water is separate. So then you can dump that in an RV dump. And you pull it out on the outside. Where yep, yep, grab that, that on the other side. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. That's super cool. Yep. You got the medic. Uh, you know, yep. kitchenware. Sink, yep, sink. Uh, everything's electric. True induction stove. Yep, everything's electric. There's no propane. That's a diesel uh, heater on here. Jason, you want to jump down? I'll jump out of the way. You can get back in. We did do aftermarket seats. You'll see the seats aren't uh, aren't Winnebago OEM. Yeah, these seats are some of the best on the market. I talked to them quite a bit yesterday and the day before, and I'm fami I'm very familiar with them. So yeah, yeah. They're great seats. Uh, we did add that shelf. Um, up there, there's a little do-it-yourself shelf kit. They send you the uh, supports, and then you have the shelf made locally, or make it out of wood yourself if you want to. But in these little vans, these 144s, you want to take advantage of every possible nook and cranny you can to get your stuff in. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, storage is king, but there's also a lot to work with. Yeah. There so is. you can really be flexible yeah. with it, and, or it can. The platform's flexible. Yeah. What? So these little mounts that I see. This, did this yep. come, is this a Rebel thing? Uh, no, this is Ram. They okay, these this, are just Ram. Uh, and these came with the Rebel, all of them except the one I put my uh, Garmin Overlander GPS on. Okay. And the idea, I think, I've got the, the four inch mounts for these. I think the idea would be that you hang an iPad there and watch TV or maybe a cooking channel while you're making food or the videos you shot that day when you got stuck out in the woods right. or whatever, yeah. Well, I run Ram mounts in all of my stuff. Actually, in my Sprinter, I put a Ram mount right here Oh, really? For my iPhone. Oh, that's a great idea. Just because yeah. I use my iPhone for navigation yeah. more than anything. I yeah. used to have a sophisticated mount for my iPad and all this other stuff. The kids kept taking it watching movies. Yeah. And I really, really need my iPhone for navigation. Yeah. Even off-road, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not as comfortable to look at as a bigger screen, but it works. Yeah. And nobody's yeah. taking it from me. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. So this is super cool. So you have storage up here, obviously. Yeah. You've got seats here. Are there more seat belts other than what's in the front? Or there is are it... two more seat belts up underneath that. So you um, could have two more people. You could put two more people in here. Yep, okay. legal, going down the road. And this and actually this... moves. This does a thing where this pops out. This is all Rebel based, but this comes right. down. And you can reconfigure these pads and they line up to be sort of a, sort of a twin bed-ish. So uh, in a pinch, you can sleep two in the back and one on the front hip here. Oh, yeah. But again, it's pretty well thought out from the Rebel side, you know, the Winnebago side. They did a good job. They built a few RVs in their time, so they kind of know what they're doing. They sure do. Well, so yeah. and then this, <laughs> this folds up yep. right here. Yep. It all snaps up. You don't have to. I mean, yeah, it's but I see clear. that. And then you also have access to. Yeah, that goes up there. And then this is your, you know, water fill. You have it. They have a bulk water fill here, so you could actually fill this out of a spring or something with just, you know, a jerry can. And then they've got the traditional tank fills with hoses. Okay. And then what are these? This is the, well. This is going to be your electrical. Oh uh, yeah, those you are electrical have, access, access panels for fuses. Fuse I mean, your, there's a lot of stuff going on inside with breaker. the solar and the yeah, chassis yeah, yeah. and how everything charges. And, and then is this storage under here? No, that's uh, more batteries okay. for our uh, breakers. Got it. Yeah. So a question that I've been wondering is, having a vehicle like this off-road. Yep. Um, it's really tall, right? It's really tall. It's pretty short, right? Mine, yeah. I would never because it's super long. But the tallness, I mean, obviously the bulk of the weight's down, but there is weight up. Oh, yeah. Have you ever kind of had it tilting and off camber and kind of, I mean, at what point do you start feeling like, eh, it's a little too much? Well, I think, I think as a four-wheel driver, you're going to think in terms of this is a van and an RV and a place to sleep first and the four-wheel drive second. Right. Certainly, we, I've had Tacomas, been in Jeeps, you know, been in big trucks down in Mexico. And, you know, they're 
purpose-built four-wheel drives and yeah go 50 miles an hour through the whoops off camber whatever right. this thing is not built for that if you use it for that you're probably gonna yeah you're gonna scare yourself a few times <laughs> this is my daughter Lily hi there um, well that's so, the big it, question yeah. that I've had you know because in the in the area of I mean yeah I mean you always have to be if you're not comfortable, you need to walk it first, and then yeah. you take it slow, and then you need to, you know, take the yeah. conservative route. Yeah, this I think is... I think I would put this in four-wheel drive if I was confident and I'd done right, you know, read the reports that I could get through an area. Right. I think four-wheel drive for this van is mostly for deep gravel, rutted road, snow, and four-wheel drives to get yourself out of a situation right. the two-wheel drive got you into, and you're right. not sure what you're getting into. Yeah, no. you're not doing hell's revenge. <laughs> not in something like this. This is not a wheeling vehicle. No, this is an exploration vehicle. Yeah. Super yep. cool. Oh man, so this thing is awesome. So let's take a quick look and I'll shut up, play some music, and let you enjoy. Actually, I'm not going to shut up or play any music. I'm just going to tell you about it because this is the Revel bumper he was telling me about, but they just kind of made some cuts and made the uh, winch fit. I don't know, is this a metal bumper? No, this is, this is all plastic. But there's obviously recovery plastic. points here, so, which, you know, is necessary, obviously. What's the Revel bumper? So they've got black rhino wheels. What are the tires? I wanted to know the sidewall size. Two, okay, here we are. 275, 70, 17. They've got uh, side steps on the side. And I kind of wanted to look underneath the underbelly here. Here, will you hold this for a second, Lily? All right, ch check this out. All right, the belly of the beast. So he was saying it's wide open under the other one, not this one, because this one's an RV build. So you've got water tanks. Uh, I believe the fuel tank's on the, uh, no, the fuel tank's gonna be on this side. So this is gonna be your fuel tank right here. He said he's got an ox fuel tank in the back, and then you got water tanks on the other side. I'm not sure this is the fuel tank. I think the fuel tank's in the middle. But I could be wrong. I'm not a Sprinter engineer. All right, moving on. So you've got gray water, black water dump right there. You're gonna have, this is the cassette cartridge toilet thing. You got city water fill here. And you've got a ladder right here to get up to the top. And he's got 200 watt panels of solar. I really like these windows, this window design too. It's pretty handy. My head could fit in there. My head could fit in there. Sorry, the lighting's a little weird in here. It's kind of yellow. And then you've got shore power here. You come around here, you can see the Pro Eagle Jack and the mount on the Illuminous bumper. And so this is kind of interesting, I guess. Oh, it's gonna swing out. So this will, this will be independent. The door will, close independently and then the bumper locks into place now it's the same as ours how it just kind of props open and so these kind of prop open with that and then you can actually undo that and open it all the way under normal circumstances I'm not sure you could with the swing out on the bumper and then I like these blind max things this is the second time I've seen these and these are a suction cup on this Okay, super cool. Super cool. And then here's your water pump. And you've got your water outlet right here. And then this is one of the cool things he was talking about. It's innovative. Uh, I guess Winnebago created this. Um, I don't know if they got a patent or how it works, but it's the bed system. So this bed system, the whole thing, it's strapped up there. And there's actually a motor. You can see the hardware for the motor right there. Not the hardware for the motor, but the track. And the whole thing, it'll go down and it'll actually be flush with these right here. And then it'll go up for storage. So you can store a lot of stuff in here that you would obviously have to take out. Um, you know, so it'd be like temporary storage boxes, things that you'd keep out overnight at camp and you could bring the bed down and sleep. And he was saying this really is like a two person setup. You've got power here and your regular AC power there, and then you've got a dual swing out here 
And then the aluminous bumpers, they actually make a really good piece of hardware here. And you have a large storage box here, which gives you tons of capability. And as you come back around, you've got more power options here. This is gonna be exterior power. And you've got your solar connection there that he was talking about. So yeah. If you want more information about this or what you guys do, where would they go? Uh, Cooper Tires would be where you find out the best tires for this type of an application. Winnebago Revels website will give you the Revel information and then just hit the Overlander Instagram feeds for all the other stuff you can hang on these things. That's right. Well, this is awesome. Uh, super inspirational for me. I hope it's super inspirational for you guys too. And uh, we'll see you here in the next video. See you next time.